Hi, welcome to another video on uh, MCP or Model Context Protocol. This is the fifth video in the series and in a couple of videos more, we will be confident enough to build our own MCP servers and deploy it. Now, before we do that, we are going to now leave Cloud Desktop because so far we saw how we can install MCP servers, be it Node or Python, into our Cloud Desktop to test it. In this video, we are going to use a very nice tool called MCP Monitor. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I am Sri from Shobini. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. We will see how to launch the tool and see how we can connect that tool to our MCP server. When it comes to connecting to an MCP server, there are multiple ways. One is using STDIO. That is what we saw in our previous examples. Another is SSC, Server Sent Events. So when we build our own MCP servers, we will normally be using SSC protocol because then we can remotely host the MCP servers on our domain, on our servers. We don't need to release our servers to the outside world. We only need to give the authentication token, etc. to access Okay, so we'll see that in a couple of videos from now. In this video, we'll see how we can launch the MCP server monitor tool and connect to our MCP server using STDIO. So th that is simpler. Let's see how to launch the monitor first. It is called the inspector, not monitor. Okay, so this is the URL where you get information about the inspector, MCP server inspector to help us monitor MCP server, interact with it. Okay, so it's a very nice tool. And definitely this tool you will need on a day-to-day -day basis if you are building your own SaaS MCP solutions. Okay, so this is the command. You can pass the parameters if you already know the MCP servers that you want to connect to. But I'm just starting the inspector. Okay. Okay, so inspector is starting and let's browse okay so this is the url we'll choose stdio okay and we are going to connect this to our file server node mcp server that we saw earlier that we saw in the first video so this is what we used there so npx so npx arguments minus y this is the module name and this is the allowed folder okay and let's connect and see okay it says connected so we saw how we could uh, connect to our file system mcp server using cloud desktop now we have connected the file system mcp server to our uh, mcp inspector and here, if you click on list tools, it will list all the tools available on the file system. Okay. So, select a tool. Okay. So, list directory is connected. List tool. List directory. Users free downloads unwanted folder 1 and a run tool see here it's able to list the file so if you look at the folder you will notice that there is one file so here we have successfully connected the MCP server default MCP server file system server using the MCP inspector and we are able to list the tools available in the MCP server and also execute a specific tool. Clear? So that part is clear. Now we will 
leave this file system so we have had enough exposure to file system mcp server we are going to run a php based uh, server using the sdk provided by model context protocol dot io so if you so if you visit the repo model context protocol python sdk example servers simple tool mcp simple tool server dot py you will notice that there is a sample so if you visit github repo for model context protocol python sdk in this url i will provide this url in the description there is a simple prompt there is a simple resource and there is simple tool samples we're going to look at each of them okay and why do we need three different types of mcp so this is about a prompt this is about a resource this is about tool so when we have our own agent and when we attach tools for be it local tool or be it uh, mcp based tool when the user query comes in the, the llm llm will process and decide what to use these functions or tools for and essentially what you are passing to llm is the query plus context that do you agree so our query plus context goes to the llm now this context will contain prompts right we are telling what the llm should do this context will contain resources because if you want the llm to analyze an image or a pdf etc the resource url will also go with the context right then it will also have function calls for tools so essentially mcp offers a unified solution for the entire context needed for the model okay so here we have prompt example resource example and tool example so let's look at the prompt example so i have cloned the repo here and i have the simple prompt i have the simple resource and i have simple tool all three are independent mcp servers mcp server based on python using sse protocol server sent events protocol so okay so so let's start the inspector so if you have node you just need to run this command okay so inspector is running now from this folder the python sdk example server simple tool folder let's run uv so uv is a modern python package manager uv run and we specify the folder from the git repo that contains the mcp simple tool and we are specifying transport server send events sse and a port address okay so our server is ready this is mcp server now let's visit the mcp inspector and i have entered the url to the server here and click there is no authentication but when you build your own mcp server you will have a bearer token based authentication so that authorized clients can connect so i'm clicking connect so it's connected to the tool and if you click on list tools you will see the tools list here and it has got a tool called fetch that is what it is it fetches a website okay so let's run this tool 
url to fetch https colon www dot shogini dot com there is our website let's run the tool this is the tool call argument okay and response see the website content so what we did in this uh, video is use the python mcp server example that used sse protocol and then we use uh, mcp inspector to connect to our running sse server so we are readying ourselves to create our own sse server and run it using sse protocol in the previous videos we saw how we can connect using the std io protocol but that is not good for production use cases so this is an mcp server that has only tools you can have mcp server that offers prompts and resources too so let's see those examples as well so let's come out of this simple tool folder we have simple prompt so let's see the simple prompt example okay so it is even though folder is mcp underscore simple underscore prompt when you execute you need to type uv run mcp hyphen simple hyphen prompt okay so let's refresh this and connect okay so now it automatically is highlighting the prompts because this is a prompt demo so let's see the prompts there is one prompt called simple prompt okay enter context enter topic and get prompt okay so here we can enter a b c d and topic x y z and ask it to get the prompt and it created a here is some relevant context a b c d please help me with the following topic x y z so this is how mcp server can offer collection of prompts so this is the simple prompt code that comes with the python sdk so here here is some relevant context and it appends so this is how this is a tiny script that acts as a python based mcp server to handle prompts so get prompt will return the prompt okay so we will use these examples to build our own mcp server so that is the prompt server now let's look at the resource server see the name is mcp hyphen simple hyphen resource so let's move to a simple resource folder and launch mcp hyphen simple hyphen resource transport ssc and port so our mcp python ssc based resource server is running let's connect our inspect tool reloaded the tool and clicking connect and see here it says list resources it has got a greeting resource let's look at the code okay so here list resources read resource sample resources greeting resource help and about okay so greeting help about okay the contents of the resources available here okay so we now know how to run our tool based mcp server and inspect it using the mcp inspector we saw how to run the prompt based mcp server now we have seen the resource based mcp server okay so and next video we will see how we can create our own mcp server just to summarize in this video we saw how we can connect to an mcp server using sse transport and why we need a prompt based sse server a resource based mcp server and 
a tool based mcp server so all these three will give everything that you need to off offer the complete context to the large language model okay so that is it for this video see you in the next video on mcp so in next couple of videos we'll begin building our own mcp sas applications thank you for your time please remember to like share and subscribe bye bye